have day six, yeah, 16. Yep. Has a hand cane on it. This is hard. Let's just, that's all right. So we have day 16, it has a candy cane on it. It's a pretty small box. So I don't expect something, I don't expect something extravagant to be in here. I just expect something small to be in here. Maybe like a, maybe like a pigment or something. If it is a pigment, I have to lay on a, a, a towel. But uh, I don't think it will be, but it might. Okay. Oh, we get some. That was a bad idea. That was a really bad idea. Don't know why I squeezed it so hard. But I did. But I did. But I did. I, I squeezed the bag. And um, when I squeezed the bag, all the beads fell out. So anyway, that was not a good shot. We got some white clear pony beads, which are basically beads that are the, the traditional type of beads that are used to make bracelets. Excuse me. And then we also get, excuse me, and we also get instruction pam, uh, pamphlet majiggy. And it says stretch thread. I don't have thread. I might have thread. So basically, I think I think these are like hyper thor not not hyper thoracic, um, hyper color, hydrocolor, color change. It's what, not hydrocolific or hydro. I know what you mean. Hydro. Or, oh, what is that? No, it's not hydrographic. It's like color oh. change. I think. How the heck do you color change? Not hydro for sapphic, no, because we have clear pony beads. And then when we bring them out in the sun, it's supposed to change color. So I think color change. So. Oh yeah, still no, still no update on our soap base. Well, we have an update. It didn't work. Oh. So we're gonna have to give the boiler reason. Well, well, we should put it in the microwave. Oh yeah, that's probably going to be easier. Alright, I'm going to... So... Oh, uh, this means... So... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab some string. See ya. string I have string but if you've ever made a, bra a bracelet with a pipe cleaner it's way much easier all you do is you thread the beads onto the on the onto the pipe cleaner and then you tie a knot at the end it's really it's more easy to do it on a pipe cleaner than it is to do it on a piece of string so I'm gonna do it on a piece of pipe cleaner I just chose orange it's bright orange on in person it might be light orange on camera but see it depends on how I hold it it's it, it's dark here like it is in person but then it's like light orange as I come close to the camera. There, there we go. Sorry about the sun. The sun, because the sun is legit right out here. So the sun makes it look like it's a, like a yellowish orange. But then, but then when I hold it close, it's like a orange color. So if you've ever made a bracelet slash necklace with a pipe cleaner, you should. It's way more easier to do it with a pipe cleaner than it is to do it with a, with, with, with string. That might just be my personal preference. You guys might find it easier to do it with string than it, to make a bracelet with string. And it might be easier for you guys to make a bracelet with string more than pipe cleaner, or it might be easier for you guys to do string, I mean pipe cleaner more than string. 
So I have my pipe cleaner. It says we're gonna thread the beads onto the string, aka pipe cleaner. And then we're gonna knot the thread. And then, and then it can be used as a bracelet. And then when the beads are, are in a cool place, which they are right now, they are white slash clear. But then when you take them out to the sun, they will turn colorful. The beads will turn a different color slash colorful in the sun. So let's just start beading. Another, good, another thing to note is to kind of make a little indent at the very bottom of the pipe cleaner. Um, so that the beads don't slip off like that. Just a, just a tiny little knot type thing. Because we will, ugh, we will be, um, after we're done, we're gonna, because I'm going to measure my arm length, and you want to measure your arm length just to see where the bracelet would be. So the bracelet would be about here on me, so I know to, to snip it about there, because you don't want to put so many beads on it that it falls off or it breaks or whatever. And I find pipe cleaners to be way more sturdier than string. That's why I use pipe cleaners and they're more easy, easy to tie than string is. So if you want to make a bracelet, I highly recommend you use pipe cleaners. If you don't have pipe cleaners, you can use string. But another thing, if you just need a busy activity to keep kids occupied and busy, pipe cleaners, or you can load them into the shape, you can load them into so many things, pipe cleaners. <sighs> so. Um, yeah, I don't want to put too many bees on it. It can fall, burst, anything like that. Including, I don't want to put too much because then I would, then I, because then I'll, I'll, I'll have to cut at the very end to make sure that it will fit my wrist. So we will not be using all this for, for my wrist. Only like a half slash a little bit of this will be used on my wrist. So we're just gonna, and they're way easier to, to slide through as well. Let's see, they're actually, and they are not pulling off. So, I'm just, I'm just continuing to put the beads on. Again, we will not be using all of the pet cleaner. We'll be using just a little bit of it. So, you can use any color beads you want. Again, you can use string if you want to. I'm just gonna thread all the beads on but you also want to leave a little bit of space to tie it as well and it's, it's really fuzzy as you're stringing the beads onto the pipe cleaner excuse me I'm gonna cut it. Okay, I'm, you're also gonna. So, this is one of those threads that you can do over and over and over again, over and over and over again. All you need is beads, any type of beads, but I recommend pony beads because they work and they have the hole through them. A pep cleaner or some string and then some scissors. I'm gonna cut it off about right there because also leave a little bit of slack for your, for your wrist to fit through. Excuse me. Came on, pipe cleaners are hard to cut, so make sure you have an adult version. If you are cutting pipe cleaners because they are hard to cut. But I find if you're are if you're beating on beating a bracelet through a string, I mean a pipe cleaner, it's way more easy to beat it through a pipe cleaner than it is a string.
then you're gonna you're gonna want to pull these kind of up a little bit if you're oh, okay there just pull them a tiny bit up just pull it up just a teeny bit because you you still want to be able to have that space versus right here and down here where you're able to tie that knot And I just made a bracelet. Like, BRB guys. So, yeah, again, if it does not fit your wrist, you can also try untying it. And by untying it, I mean untying See, you can untie it. And then if you need to add a little bit of, a, of an extension for your for, 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 for your bracelet, you can do that by like kind of tying the other piper that you just undipped, cut off onto. See, so if you need a little bit of more excess, you can just kind of add that on. Well, I like my pipers more than you know than more than um. I like about doing bracelets with pipe cleaners is that they're easy to tie and knot and add more pipe cleaner if you need it long or shorter. And for, if you're using string, you have to have an adult, adult help you tie and cut and all that. And this is more easy. Um, and, you, and it's like more kid friendly too. Uh, Just kind of, if you need to, do a little double twist at the end. Then combine it with that. Asi daisy. go and just double knot it like that made my bracelet so that was a really cool uh, project you really only need a couple things Pee, beads uh, pony beads pipe cleaner or string and some scissors so Now it, it's kind of stabby right there, so just be a little bit careful. But then you can just easily slide it off if you made an appropriate size for your wrist. If you didn't make an appropriate size for your wrist, don't worry, you can make it again. But easy slides on and off if you do a pipe cleaner and then you might need a little bit of help. 
but it's more easy to slide off and on if you're using string. But again, same with the diaper. So I hope you enjoyed making for first foot. Bye.